So this is really beneficial for my personal and professional development. It's a good way to push yourself and see what you can do in a short amount of time. It's the first time Archenge Build has been held in a regional centre. Normally it's in the uh, Auckland Wellington Christchurch corridor, but we thought it was uh, a really good idea this year to take it away from those uh, established places and come out to the regions. And uh, it's been absolutely wonderful. New Plymouth has been great. We um, open up self nominations for the students from around the New Zealand polytechs and universities. Um, essentially, they're about to enter the workforce. Um, I go to school in California. Um, and then I'm here for two months doing an internship program at the University of Auckland and I was said yes. I think it's like a really cool opportunity. I don't know like when else I would get like this experience besides like when I start working. I'm working in construction and I'm doing part-time study in construction management and yeah, I was keen to be a part and that's how <laughs> I heard of it. Each year we try and come up with a project brief that reflects uh, the place we're at and in New Plymouth being in the regions we thought we would um, wrap an economic plan around last year's Pritzker Prize winner of an incremental house. So we've designed something that we call the Entrepreneurial Incremental Village. How can we inspire young people to move to Taranaki and create businesses and live, work and play right here in New Plymouth? How do you get an entrepreneur into New Plymouth? and give them a half of the house essentially, where they then build out the second house based on resources and time that they have. So the brief is about attracting innovative young people into the great, greater Taranaki region. We tried to create something that was very flexible, that could um, accommodate to lots of different unique characteristics of every individual. So it was quite a challenge. We took an entire day just to go through all these different ideas, but I really enjoy the process. What do you value and why are you in this industry? So that gave us a very good idea of what the person wants and collaborate together to come up with a with a shared vision. We tended to always figure out how could we like make the engineering really pop out of the architecture, that sort of thing. This last day is becoming a bit of a relief right before the presentation just to sort of relax and be excited about the whole experience. So I've seen the brief uh, for the competition and I'm quite excited actually because I've got no idea what to expect. You can never quite tell what these teams are going to come up with. We've been um, telling them for the last two days that uh, this is a pitch, it's not an assignment, it's about it capturing emotionally uh, the judging panel as if they were pitching for new work out in the workplace. We really want to bring out the wow factor to the judges in the very beginning and then we'll slowly unfold on the credibility and the technical aspect. We're going to approach our presentation as a pitch, so kind of selling our central idea, um, but not heavily leaning towards engineering or consulting or architect, it's kind of like a collab idea to sell to a general community. I was just blown away. I, I enjoyed every, every one of your presentations. The best projects, I can honestly say, the best projects are the collaborative ones. It's really nice to take some time out of our days and see that energy because it, you know, it lifts us as well. So the winning concept design is Farm to Table. By Congratulations. 
Now, I've talked to only a few of you, but I've been really impressed with the people that I've met this evening. You are the cream of our future in terms of building an infrastructure in New Zealand. It's enjoyable to work with people with and understand their different expertise and, and skills and how they what they have to do. I guess I'm really one the experience, you know, getting to work with you know different disciplines coming together. So I'll be a lot more conscious when I'm designing. Um, there's so much opportunity in construction and engineering. Um, a lot of that should come hand in hand with design. So that 